Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will lead once again as the champion tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Macy Jackson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. Champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Paddington. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Go. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. She landed a beautiful punch here. And she misses with the left punch there. All right, first round is underway. Many people expected a big storyline, and this one would be her jab. She's got a decided reach advantage here tonight. She is very long. She is very tall. She is very knowledgeable. Look for her to circle on the outside. Pop, pop, pop. The jab, and then the big right hand, or the big left follow. Great job blocking that shot. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Clean punch. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, huge left. That leg kick hurt. Oh, huge left hand. Great job blocking that punch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice kick there by Raquel Pennington. Oh, big right hand. 
Well, also, you better not be too dismissive of this calf kick because I see some visible bruising now. Well, the first one doesn't bother you. But then before you know it, all of a sudden you can barely walk. She needs to start checking right now. Just out of range with that left hook. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take any more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grappling, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard at the top. Nice jab there by Macy Shasso. Under a minute now to go in this one. Pennington going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. All right, let's go. Take a seat here. All right. I need you to slow down and relax. I need you to calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. Everything you're doing, you're forcing your little. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from, but John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again. Found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision when you get up off the of her. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Strong outside leg kick. It's a good right hand right there. Oh! Pennington's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, uppercut lands. Oh, nice. Nice straight punch there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Oh, Pennington's eye is closing up. Under three Work. minutes now to go in the round. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in the second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Well, committed to the body work. You see the results. Look at the redness on the right side of her body. the uppercut there, but now the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. All right, so her movement defensively left a lot to be desired early on, and now she's got an obvious limp because of those leg kicks. Yeah, those leg kicks have been so damaging. To have someone in front of you that is so intent on landing that certain strike and then to see her desired effect is going to be very difficult to keep her off of that leg kick. Oh! Oh, she's officially wobbled now. Chasov's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. 
trying to kick the leg out. End this fight. End it. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Before she got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? You ready. Let's do Third it. round underway. Really nice job blocking that shot. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. all night. She did not miss there. She's been looking for it, and she finally got it. And now she's going to see if she can close the night. Oh, her cap just continues to absorb shots, and at this point, I got to think the corner's thinking about stopping things on their own. The corner has to stop the fight. I don't think there's been a time where it's more clear what they should do. Save your fighter. Don't make her fall flat on the ground from leg kicks and the referee have to stop. Save the fight. Save the fighter. Stop it right now. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Chassoff's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. So I think if I was a pro fighter, I might be a leg kicker, man. I mean, this weapon has changed the game, and she's limping pretty bad now. She's limping very bad. I mean, when you talk about fighters, they want to be stone cold. They don't want to. They don't want you to see anything. So for her to be reacting the way that she is, it tells you how hurt she is from these leg kicks. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Okay. Ten seconds to go in the round. Time, All right, that's time. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. You ready to fight? I'm ready to go. Ready? That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that 
nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Let me see that hook now. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. She's got to start looking to finish here. Kick checked effectively there by Shasson. Oh, up the Just misses there with the left. Oh. Oh, oh. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Well, let's see if she goes back to the hook again. Obviously, there will be a setup. She'll work off of the jab and go back to trying to punctuate the combination with the hook. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing. Oh, she's hurt. Well, she landed a flush knee there, DC, making great use of her size advantage in this one. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Oh, great. something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, back to the stool she goes. We'll see if they can close up that cut, and it's a pretty big one she's dealing with on her cheek. It's a nasty cut on her cheek, but it's in a better spot. It's not blood leaking into her eye. It's more pain now, because every time she gets hit in it, it's going to hurt. She's got to be a little better on the defensive side of things. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. It is the fifth and final round. decision it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 11 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Macy Jack. Oh, you know how excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the women's bantamweight division. A lot of history in this division, and she adds to it tonight. And this is a...